Bing, bam, boom. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to our time slot, which is newly released. However, however, I checked No Rest for the Wicked last night to make sure we could potentially avoid some of the issues that have been being reported. Um, Frost can attest to the fact that I was in the game. I now cannot open the game this morning. And so, unfortunately, with the time we had left, uh, we will no longer be the Wicked Resting. Uh, we will be <laughs> Exiles in Ray Class, uh, walking the path of exile. Um, so, good morning, everyone. Hello and welcome. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I couldn't get the game to open. That's a weird thing. You press play, and then it would just wait a bit, just and play. then it would unplay. And yeah, that's it. It just kept closing. But when life gives you lemons, you make beef stew. So we're here to make beef stew in Path of Exile. And if anybody comes through late and they do the standard, like, hey, hey, this isn't no rest for the wicked. Do me a favor. Be be a little cutie doll and uh, set them straight for me that we're playing uh, SpongeBob SquarePants she Battle for Bikini Bottom. Today. Something seems way off. Oh. I'm not dropping frames, but man, we laggy. We're very we laggy. laggy. Ooh. Oh yeah, the the stream, my OBS, for us, Your mobs. it's not good. Oh no, what's going on? Why is mine being is stupid? Alex? Uh, is it a YouTube problem? My tabs no, are no, being no, no. weird. It's my OBS. I'm I'm moving now, and it looks okay. Okay. Oh, I think they got to change them. Um, we can't change the game category. Um. I do not have the capacity to do that on this channel. And neither does Frost. Also, uh, Twitch doesn't like care. It. Like, me and Jeff Bezos, uh, you know, we're, we get down like that. Him. We're close. <laughs> me and him. We friends. The things that me and Jeff do on the weekends, like, I that, guarantee now, you. Now, if we explain that, if we explain what you did on the weekends, that would be breaking terms. Pickleball. You know, the fastest yeah. growing sport in America. My YouTube is being so weird right now. Is your now. YouTube being weird? Mine was, um, something. Mine was a thing. I'm going to go do some heist. Why did I go there to do heist? Anyway. There we go. Heist. And uh, Hamster, thank you for the three months. Do appreciate Hamster! you. I've been playing some AFK Journey. And Hamsters uh, are very prominent. AFK Journey? Hmm. What's that? Oh man, it's the loading screens. It's purely okay. It's whenever there's a loading screen. Maybe not. I think we're okay now. Um, Don't play Jonathan Ross. Yeah, here, AFK you? Arena. Hmm? Oh, like on the fun AFK. game? Yeah. A job's a job. I played I've on my tablet. Playing, it's very fun. Oh, there you go, yeah. Once I got my Steam Deck, I stopped playing idle games. Now I can have active games on the go. You can have active games? Yeah. There we go. Have you heard how many people have been getting injured by pickleball? Uh, only the weak. Yeah. How many people have been being injured by pickleball? It's, it's Darwinism at its finest, right? Most sport have a fair amount of injury. Sure. Oof. Like pickleball of all things. Okay, now the title and the thumbnail's been changed. We're good. Fabulous. Thank you, whoever did that. I'm too busy gaming. Just so need a moment to catch my breath. <laughs> too gaming to appreciate. I can't pers uh, thank you personally. Oh God, but I I actually remember that this was supposed to be something else. No, you. This was always the stream. This will be quick. This was the stream. The whole time. I don't know what anyone is talking Failure about. Means yeah, what is a fair amount of injury? Yeah. Yeah, what is what is what an acceptable for. amount of injury? It's, and it's how relative. How major or minor does said injury need to be? Right, right. Also, like, depends on the crowd you attract, right? Like, I don't. F I feel pickleballers, a, a game designed for the elderly, doesn't attract the most sturdy of sportsmen. I I vaguely make too much noise. know what 
pick a ball is. But pretend I don't Link. and explain it. Right. Looks like close quarters tennis. Like, that? isn't it just like handball, but quick. with the paddle? Yeah, but like, you don't use the whole tennis court, just the beginning bit. The, beginning <laughs> the middle bit. bit is all... What does that mean? Yeah. The, middle, like the middle, like the middle bit. <laughs> you don't use the whole thing. I feel like this was just some like economist was like, you know what? I can have more tennis per square foot <laughs> with pickleball. <laughs> I'm maximizing the amount of tennis I can put on this court by having tennis junior. I love that because it's so capitalist. Like, right. It's yeah, like I either, sell yeah. more court space if I put them in half the courts. It, uh, so, uh, yeah. And then if I, people yeah. will come and play my game here. And I love Absolutely. that. I think that's really beautiful. Yeah, because this looks like this is either tennis junior or this is giant paddle ball. What that? Yeah. <laughs> And I don't know why it's called pickleball. There's no pickles. There's no pickles. I'm not uh, balling. Horribly, I am balling. <laughs> I'm not balling Maybe at all. I am, wow. But am I? Is it because you're stewing? Like it's so intense that you're just stewing with it? So it's yeah, I suppose. Like you don't move your knees. No, no, no. Is it because it makes you vinegary? Like I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure who names it. Is a hipster favorite? <clears throat> are hipsters still around? I feel like hipsters have become mainstream. So there are no hipsters. Only nerds like me. No, 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 no. Yeah, and like hipsters became mainstream in 2010. Oh, does it again. Can anyone stop Who him? Named no, I reckon it was later than that. I, I reckon it was later than that. You can. Uh. Frost audio is no. higher than mine. That's all right. I'll fix it on my end. Um, every now and then. Whoop, every now and then. Whoop, my audio on my side somehow drops down. I'm like, mm. but I didn't touch you. I'm like, I yeah. didn't touch it. I should be fixed now. All the, those Google Meets. Yeah. Uh, see, exactly. Speak knows. That's exactly it. The pickleball fad has been attracting a lot of casual players that aren't very athletic, so they're injuring casual themselves slightly <laughs> higher. Many it's the dirty casuals always hurting themselves. Uh, what am I wanting to do? <clears throat> I think I want to level up my, my boys. So I can do the high level shenanigans. Invented by a man named Joel Pritchard. What do you need? A man, that even sounds like the name of a guy who would invent something like that. Right. Damn, Joel Pritchard out here. Oh, I don't have to do any of the planning. Joel. Uh, I believe it. The popular but rejected version is that the game was named after the Pritchard's family dog, Pickles. Uh, Aww. That's a nice reason. I'll allow it. I wasn't it gonna is, allow it. It is, but it's it a lie. It's nice, That's but it's a lie. lie. The true origin is that his wife named it after the pickle boats in Crew, also known as rowing. I don't know. That sucks. No, take it. Why did you tell me that part? I could yeah, have I lived the with one. the lie, and I could have gone around <laughs> telling people I knew that. Yeah, Come you, on, Frost. You, now you I have to tell the, them the truth. It sucks. You would, truth you would sucks. eat the steak in the Matrix? Is that what you're saying? Hmm. I would. They look tasty. Ooh, I'm sweating. What wouldn't you eat in the Matrix? Just, I'm just nervous. In the Matrix? Yeah. And like the things I wouldn't eat here? It's a simulation. <laughs> Anything I wouldn't eat here. <laughs> Anything I wouldn't eat here. Uh. Stop right there. The hot topic effect if you want to be snarky. Yeah, there's no hipsters anymore. It's just hot topic. No matter what, we can all agree it's a very silly name. Yeah, for a very dangerous sport, apparently. Easy. You but are they getting sports? major yeah. injury or minor injury? The group fitness part of my brain wants to know. Good stuff. All right, yeah. Major. What's major? Like, losing a head? That's major. Like, sure. are people getting concussions? Are people, like, are people Nothing literally throwing the balls at each other? Like, are their heads? Oh, I just, so I need to know. Ball. I want to understand. Um, I can there. never Continue understand. The most common are... Twisted ankles, broken wrists. Ankles. Knee injuries, ACL, um, fractures. ACL, really? Yeah, because then, like, the whole point is you're not supposed to move your knees. 
So I could see people like slipping discs. Oh my god, why in. can't you move your knees? People that's no. The rule. Oh, no. No, Carry that's a, that's how silly people with bad tennis get hurt, because where are their Should've coaches the training them? <laughs> oh, these are not these are not fuck. athletes. No. This is what oh, happens fuck. when casuals get competitive. Like real competitors, they build their bodies for competition. The casuals, once they get a little too much competition, they just tear their ACLs. It's on the ground. Sorry. Did you get in there and yoink him? Yeah, no. Like, I saw footage of pickleball. It, you're just asking to tear an ACL. 1,000%. Like, I'd rather do full body tumbling than this. Full body tumbling! <laughs> All right, everyone. Walks in and goes, all right, we're shutting this down. And they're like, why, what? It's like, we're taking you all to the gymnasium. This is now a gymnastics club. Is it, is it just dangerous to do half the sport? Or double the sport? Because, again, this is either tiny tennis or tiny tennis. big... Why uh, couldn't they have called it tiny tennis? Should have been, huh? Come on, Frost. That's a way better name. Tiny Tennis. All right. I'll make my own sport. Can, yeah, let's make our own sport. We got company. And then let's put tennis. some cool stuff in it, and we'll call it Tiny Tennis, and then it'll take over. And then when they're like, where did you come up with it? And we're like, on a Path of Exile stream. We do. Yeah. As opposed to upper body tumbling, you can tumble with just your upper body, yeah. It's less impressive, but you can. I don't know. Just using your arms is kind of crazy. Doesn't get any easier. Oy, that's how it's done. Now mm -hmm. finish my tea. What is this? No, Molten. tiny tennis is just ping pong. No, because ping pong's already a good name. Yeah, it is. So you ping can't take the good <laughs> sport and give it another good name if it already has a good name. Yeah. Pickleball should have been, yeah, tiny, tiny tennis. <clears throat> we should all remember to do stretches and warm ups oh. before getting competitive, especially in video games. Exactly. You know. What do you think gamers... I do before this? I wake up and Ooh. scream. Happy hunting. Uh, often, actually. Often. That's yeah. how I Vocal prefer to start my day. Yeah. <laughs> no, that comes it. after this. Uh, uh, end it with a scream before bed. That's not good. <laughs> A nice casual screw. Ah, everyone's like, oh god, what are they doing? She's doing it again. Um, like, um, and thought takes POE inception, am I right? Oh, who? What, what you call it? Yeah, no, uh, contrary to popular belief, gamers are not very limber. And, uh, I am. You're, you're uh, in the 99th percentile of stretchy gamers. I am a stretchy gamer. Built unlike the average. Yes. I am a stretchy gamer. Hmm. Your weird sense shall be my law. Isn't it? Yeah. What are you? SBS. Five euro. Gamer. It's also too close to table tennis, another name for ping pong. Yeah. Tiny tennis, though. Tiny tennis. Yeah, Tiny. it's like a. It, do you get a little, like, do you get a little racket or is it a big racket? Do you get a tiny one? You get a tiny one. I guess it's the natural evolution. You know, yeah. You know. Like we used to, um, sometimes there'd be some, the <clears throat> so was it some basketball courts, but they'd only have one hoop. So you, you know, from that necessity, you learn to play half court. Uh, yeah, this yeah, is half yeah. Minute. Yeah. Half tennis. What Thank other you. things are better in halves? Better in halves? I don't. I'm a big fan of mini golf, but I don't think that's half. This that is, is considerably hard. smaller. I love mini golf, and there's a really great franchise of mini golf in Australia and New Zealand comes. called Holly Molly. Holly Molly. Holly Molly. And they Holy do incredible Molly. drinks, and they'll bring them to you while you go around the course. I have never partaken in them bringing it to me while I do it, um, only before or after. Yeah. It's very. It's quite oh, excuse me. It's very fun. Drinks. Oh, you mean like alcoholic beverages yes. or just okay? Yes. Just water. and they're fun. And there's like one cute one that's in a bathtub. No. Oh. It has a, a little ducky bathtub? in it. Yeah. What? It's in a tiny what? bathtub. 
Oh, Getting inebriated so while playing mini golf sounds great. And the courses are really cool too. They've just Beats opened one dark. in my hometown. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait to go. Because uh, it'll have all sorts of really fun things in it. Because the, there'll be like one or two courses that are, one or two holes that are similar, but then they'll have really wacky cool ones. More is better than mm. less. Mm. Maybe spotted soon. Weird, wacky, cool ones. By then, the booze is kicked in, and I'm hitting holes and ones. Oh, and then, there's one. So the clash comes. There was one <laughs> we went to in Brisbane. Um, Quiet. I'm listening. With some, f with one of our friends. Um, because the bowling lanes were full, and she was like, "Oh, but the the things freaks. We didn't have much time." And we're like, "Yeah, we can right. make this work." Um, Move. so we we did mini golf instead. And it was very fun, um, but it had one that was like a show me the money, and so you'd you'd smack the ball through, and then to get it in the hole, you needed to stand in this money chamber, and then someone outside the chamber could press it, and then the wind would start blowing, and it'd throw the money everywhere. It was incredible. <laughs> Just free money out here. Alex no, went like first it. though, and he was like, "Ow, ow!" <laughs> The babe is hitting me. <laughs> and so I went second, so I knew to like, just kind of dance a little bit. Oh, God. <laughs> God. I never thought of that. I was like, yeah, free money, but it might kill you. But <laughs> you might get death by a thousand paper cuts. A serious. Now, see, that is a serious sport injury. Oh, yeah. But what a way to go. Right. Oh, if I'm if I'm going down, I want to go down like that, you know. Yeah, you know, like I don't I don't want sports that just injure me. Like if we're gonna be competitive in something, it might it better have a chance of killing me. <laughs> like, it's embarrassing, tearing my ACL at pickleball. Mm. Yeah, like you don't want to go and tell your friends that. You like you'd rather yeah. tell them it was something weird and kinky. Like, yeah, like you don't be like, oh, you know, the pickleball man. Like, yeah. Yeah. Skydiving with bears. I went skydiving. And then a tiny meteor hit my knee, tore my ACL. Like, oh. No, oh man, we've been missing the joke all along. You should just go, oh. Well, I used to be an adventurer like you, you know. Oh my god. Then. then. Took a pickleball to the knee. <laughs> Took a pickleball to the knee. What a strange sport. Is Riley good at mini golf? Time. Hilariously, it was his um, like brother-in-law that, that we were playing with while we were riding for while we were waiting for Riley to come and get us. <laughs> um, I don't know if Riley is good at mini golf. I have a weird suspicion he would be good at mini golf, but now I want to ask him if he's good at mini golf. I can't. I, I'll throw the stream if I message him on Discord. So let me message him on my phone. <laughs> there you go. I'm sure, he's good for it. See, I'm I'm bad. I don't know if I'll be able to get you. I might be able to get no. you an answer before uh, the stream's out. Let uh, me ask. Are this, you good? I'm at much of a putter. Mini golf. <laughs> Chat on stream is asking. <laughs> I need to know, Alex. No, I want to know. You saying Alex or Riley? That's Riley. I'm messaging. Oh, Alex is asleep. Oh, okay. Um. Figured. Oh, George Lucas. Um, that is an incredible quote, and he'll love that. And he would laugh and go, correct. Correct. <laughs> correct. <laughs> uh, what have you got for me? I really should get a better system. Very I am, well. like, the slowest POE gamer. I'm like, wee. I'm just We're just chilling, you know? It's a cozy game for some. It's a cozy game. Cozy All right, game. give me big money. No, it's a life speak. Big uh, money, big money. No. $10. No big money. Oh. Big money. Chat, you are you mini golfers, avid or not? I like some mini golf. I get a little weird with it though. I just like flip the putter over, start playing like it's billiards, and it works. Sometimes you need that kind of finesse, precision. But uh, got a wicked sunburn last time we played. It's only like the indoor one. Wicked sunburn. Outside stuff indoors is great. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. Enclosed pools, great. Uh -huh. Indoor golf carts, yeah. beautiful. Indoor golf cart. 
Oh, yeah. It's loud as hell, though. Probably why I have a little tinnitus. Okay, but indoor golf but. carts, but F1. Like, put it together. Oh. But it's like go-karting, go-karting, but mm. like golf yeah. karting. Oh, it's just like, that. It's just like committed something. suicide. Yeah, with the fumes. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm onto something, bro. I think so. Don't tell the people quick. Get me a, someone. Get me a trademark lawyer. Quick, yeah, two quick. birds with one get stone, one or fifty birds with the, the fumes of the car. <laughs> go, yep, indoor go karting is so fun. I am so bad at it. There's what? there's a lot of people at my work who are into um. This will be quick. Oh, what do you call it? Um. Sim racing, and they have like really intense sim racing setups. Um, Too easy. And one of the people at work recently did like a an actual twenty four hour Le Mans, and so they were on a team, and it it was really cool. It was really cool to then hear about it and how like intense the endurance was and all those kind of shenanigans. And then they ended up in the was it Gran Turismo movie? I saw that. Not quick. I liked oh. that movie. Speaking of movies, for us, let me tell you about something funny that happened on the weekend. So, Code White, um, the Spy Family movie, I believe, just came out in. I don't think it was just Australia or New Zealand. I'm pretty sure it was like majority of the Western market. Um, the week the weekend is gone. Um, and so we went and saw this movie. And mm. while we were in the cinema, the movie had just started. And an older couple comes in, and I'm like, surely they're in the wrong movie. Like, I want to believe I will be those people. But I'm like, surely they're in the wrong place. Too easy. Anyway, a couple of minutes go by, and then they leave. And in quick. my head, so we went to the sub... We went to the sub, not the dub. Right. And every fiber of my being is like, I have so many questions. Like, <laughs> did you go, oh, shit. We bought the wrong tickets. We were meant to go to the sub. Uh, the dub. Screw it up. Or were they like, did they just go into the complete wrong cinema and had to wait like a good five to ten minutes before they went, wait a minute, it's completely dark. This isn't the ad. <laughs> like, I have so many questions. Oh God! I want to believe me. they meant to have, they meant to come to the dub, is what I want to believe. Sure. And they sure. were like, "Oh man." Either way, oof, ooh, that was spicy. Either way, very amusing to me. That was me. Good. Don't slow down. Walking into the wrong theater, going way too long, realizing, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. This ads. is already on. <laughs> What is yeah, this? this is what dark. is this strange it thing in another language with subtitles? <laughs> I went to go watch the. Uh, it was the Demon Slayer, and I was like, "This is a weird ass ad. It's just a really long segment." <laughs> yes. of this. So you, it was you a sad two moment did it too. Yeah. in an anime movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, to be fair, I was a follower that time, not a leader. I would never do such a thing because I'm paranoid of that very thing happening. And uh, yeah, no. And then oh. you have to take the fall for it. Why is to let it be just someone else's problem? And even if it wasn't, you just tell us it was. Yeah, look, it would, I would never. And we got uh, Eric with the 50 R's. Hello, oh, I hell hope you're yeah. having a great Sunday in this newly released stream of a game from 2013. That was my last year of high school, so now I feel old. We're the same age, Eric. What do you know? We graduated 2013. That was, uh, I think, Imagine Dragons is heyday. Yeah, speaking of hipsters. I uh, liked them even after everyone hated them. What is that? If you like something before it's cool, liking it after it's not cool, what is that? Liking it after it's not cool. Dedication. That's, that's just a fan, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're just that's, a fan. That's real love. That's being someone's mum. Oh, we got a birthday boy? What we got your little birthday girl? Happy birthday! I don't know why I said it like that. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry. Happy, happy birthday. To all of us, to you, we wish you happy birthday so we can party too. Is that an actual song or am I just remembering that from... I don't know the words. Okay, right, cool. That's um, that makes me feel Emperor's New Groove, right. isn't it? Damn right it is. Yeah. People hate Imagine Dragons. Imagine. Dragons. I love dragons. 
Yeah. I don't think they it's hated them so much as it was, you know, when you get popular, you get played everywhere, and then you're like, all right, enough of this. Enough. Same thing with Ed Sheeran, you know? Yeah. All right, so I have a level five. Let's do, let's do Nas next. Kind of thought. You? It's, it's even worse when the songs are PG because then everybody's playing it. You know, you have no reprieve whatsoever. It's just who you are now. It's just your new personality. No, that was yep. trapped to some. You're telling me that dragons imagine this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, they got always it. hated Imagine Dragons. Yeah, what's that? Liked it before it was cool. Hated it before it was cool. Hmm? And then liked it after it was definitely not cool. We shall dispel many lies. Fallout well, Boy is still so cool. Theories. Oh no, I got, I'm onto Path of Exile. Oh no. Oh god, I'm playing Path of Exile. She's talking about Fallout Boy. That's oh, 2013 no. again. No. There is no faith. Torture quickened. Counts Counts frisbee golf. Well, that's a sport. No, I don't believe in such yeah, a thing. Yeah, what's this? What's ultimate frisbee? I like coming back to like pickleball again. What a ridiculous name. Ultimate well, frisbee okay, though. I'm I'm happy to say I got injured Come playing something called ultimate work. frisbee. Because it's called sure. ultimate. It sounds yeah. dangerous. It sounds risky. Oh yeah. It, it sounds dangerous. like my mum's not going to be disappointed in me if I play it. Or at least only a little bit. Like you definitely might not come back. <laughs> yeah, no, ultimate frisbee is crazy. I don't see. I don't know how these people do it. Like I'm pretty good. A GCP worth that much? Do I have any Poe players? A GCP really worth that much right now? <laughs> no. I don't like that. That's given me a tink. I don't. I'm. I'm not vibing that. That gave huge tink. Look, I'm gonna leave just because I'm close to the door, just in case it Commence is huge tink. The bloody work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, look, ultimate frisbee. I'm pretty poor, so it's fine. It's just frisbee and football. You know? Disc golf, those are two different things, yeah. I'll tell you one thing. The sport that I'm amazed doesn't hurt more people, rugby, those bastards are built like little bricks, though. Yeah, but the, when it's you're just, all a little brick. Yeah, right, that makes sense. When you're all that sturdy, nothing. you're just kind of clashing off each other, bouncing. I bet they giggle, too, <laughs> when they headbutt each other. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it makes it sound like the frisbee should be sharpened. I, I'm paying half attention, and I read that as it makes it sound like the frisbee should be slapped, and I'm like, now that is sport. There you go. You know how you say, now this is cinema. No, 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 you walk up and you go, now this is sport. <laughs> Rugby players, they do get hurt, they just don't say anything. Yeah, it doesn't hurt until you say owie. <laughs> until you say, oh, my boo-boo. Oh, no. Bro, go away, die. Why don't you die? Are you, what the hell? Played oh, rugby, it's God, rough, but the way you tackle is different from football, that. so there's less injury. Sure, but with your head, no pads. <laughs> you may, <laughs> what a sport. It's like normal football, but you may only tackle each other using your ass. And only your ass. Hmm. Curling involves throwing 40 pound stones the width of a football field. Curling? Ain't that the. Isn't that that ice one where you're sweeping and whatnot? The ice one where you're sweeping? Yeah. That's curling, isn't it? Torture quickened counts as gold. Somebody throws out a little stone and then they skate out like like the magical creatures in a Disney film. They're just like. Yeah, no, it's not as cool as you think it is. It's cooler. It's it's My way cooler. It's way cooler. There's... There's a whole thing about pads. Helmets end up making injuries much worse since people have to hold back more. I guess. I don't know. Man. Have you seen uh, some of those rugby players? What's that little dude's name? Remy LeBouf? I don't know. I just made that up. Like, he goes in there <laughs> with his whole heart. I had a follow-up question, and now I can't remember it. I'm sad now. It was going to be know, a really good, like, gag yeah. set up. We were going to be having such good banter, and now it's just gone. It's gone, yeah. You do not throw this 44-pound stone. You slide it. A different. Oh, no, it wasn't It wasn't a good gag. I was just going to ask if anyone watches the F1 and saw the sprint race uh, from the weekend. 
Are you serious? I, you I occasionally now? sit and watch parts of it with Alex and... Oh, no. We're... Okay, we're running. This is not my heist. This is not my heist. Oh, God. I don't remember what mods I had on this. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, God. Thank oh, God I didn't right, get Rem. anything good. Just need Oopsie, a moment yeah. to Remy LeBeau is Gambit. <laughs> I was wondering where that name came from. I meant to say, uh, Fafli... Oh, no, Faf the Clerk. Death. Jesus Christ. He's like a tiny golden retriever. And he's just tackling giants. Crazy guy. With a big old smile on his face. Shit, too. shit, shit, shit. Oh, God. Oh, no. Let my misery end. Absolutely brutal. It is absolutely brutal, Niles. Make my pain end. Pepe Le Pew is the very one. He's a romantic. I'm out. We can't stop I'm out. Nice. Really? I say you Faf to Clerk and nobody, nice. like, you says anything? No rugby, no rugby fans. Hmm. F1 is in Formula One, yes. Okay, now see, speak easy. You say Netflix has a bunch of F1 shows you don't care about watching. But let me tell you. You watch it once and you become an F1 fan. Because, oh my god, it is so drama-fueled. Oh Un yeah. Unbelievable. Rush was F1, wasn't it? No, but Drive to Survive, they do an incredible job of putting that show together. Oh, let's talk about... Is it, yeah, the movie Rush with Hemsworth and um, Daniel Brühl. So good. The drama. Ooh, no travel costs. That's nice. Greetings. Rugby fan, don't know the name if he plays in Europe. I believe he's Kiwi. Kiwi. I have a bad feeling about this one. He's, oh no. Why did I say Kiwi? He's South African. Fam, not even close. No, no not at all. I really don't want to no, get no. stabbed. What's his height? What's his, his shoe height? size? He's five seven. What's his shoe me? size? Okay, now you're bringing up some other beef. I get to vicariously live beef. through with Alex. Uh, He's five anyone, seven. Anyone, anyone get rap wallet. beef TikTok? Go on. <laughs> Go on. Tell Go me off. more. Yeah. Oh my god. So, <laughs> um, at the moment, all Alex is getting is like. The beef currently between like Drake and right. everyone else from the big diss tracks that have been going out, and the <laughs> memes that are coming out of it's like Rick Ross, big ass. And yeah, it's like, uh, uh, I know so exactly funny. the one he got yep. to. <laughs> and now there's a mariachi band version that's like oh she metric, <laughs> come back and make some drums, metric. Like, oh my god, it is, it is just the most <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> shit. So there's gosh. a mariachi version now for us. I need to see it. <laughs> Oh, uh, and people are just like dancing, and it's like Metro going back to go make some drums. Um, oh my god, it's ridiculous. And Alex last night, as we were going to bed, was like, Amy, Amy, there's more beef. Someone else just released a diss track. And I'm like, oh no. But it was someone else. Uh, oh, I can't remember who it was. Like Chris Brown or Weekend. No, or I. Or a no, lot, there's a lot of strange. diss tracks flying around right now. So many diss tracks. But yeah, the. Um, Metro Comics drums and it's like Brick Ross big Like it really is just like what the hell is going on? Yeah no, it's a weird time. It's a weird time. Oh my computer's going down. My computer's going down. Oh, that's not good. Oh you know it's okay. Uh but what I am gonna do, because I know exactly what just did it. I'm gonna pause my animated wallpaper. Ah, I don't get you. Yeah, I don't know if any of you guys here listen to music. You don't have to listen to music for this. It's I don't listen to any really, music. Really, it's ever. It's been the pettiest squabbling that I've ever seen come out of people who write music for a living. It's so good. It's just like, you're short. He's fat. You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you, you make drums. You, why are you talking? It, it is incredible. Cause he is. He's just dissing the most ridiculous shit, and then he's like, now this guy though. Shut up, go make some drums. What? Time That's so funny. And then Alex is like, Amy, this man, like, Metro's in his 50s. Like, Metro? Like, no, he's not. Oh, I don't know. It was just funny to me. Rick Ross is in his 50s. Rick Ross is in his 50s. Oh, Metro, because Metro then yesterday. Metro Boomin is like 
five years old. Mr. Finney is five years old. Uh, well, okay, so Rick Ross, it's funny. So I have, um... We can't ask of arms. If it, it'll mean something to some people. Obviously, when I teach group fitness, I teach Les Mills programs. And the, the Rick Ross uh, run it uh, was in a couple of releases. And I just had one of them playing the other day, and it just so happened to have run it. And Alex is like, oh, you're going to do the beef track? And then I'm like, no, Alex, I'm not. Uh, it gets you moving and gets you pumped up. You know? I was like, actually, it's a pretty good track. Maybe I'll do it in time. Now I have a vision. He's like, oh, no, I have again. a vision. <laughs> oh, God. What a time to be alive. And the Great Fallout Boy song. Well, Fallout shows come out, all these discs. Oh, I'm about halfway through. No spoilers. Oh, yeah. No one talked to me about it. It's so good. No spoilers. I'm like halfway. I think we're about halfway. I think we were. I saw episode, everyone guys. complaining. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're, you're halfway. I saw everyone complaining of like, oh, why is it all dropped at once? Now no one's going to want to talk about it. I'm like, go on then. Talk about it. I've not seen anyone talk about this show yet. I think, I think because for once, people are almost actively not trying to spoil for once, which would be a nice thought. Because I've been lucky <laughs> enough to not see anything. Sure. Ooh, I think it's agility. I think it's people's desire to praise things and be in the know uh, supersedes them actually wanting to talk about anything. That's the weirdest thing about being in, in game culture. Uh, is we'll just say, did you play that game yet? Yeah. It's good, huh? Yeah. So and good. that's it. We don't, we don't talk yeah, about and anything. We, and then we don't go. Yeah. No, like I've heard people talk about the like the spoiler, or not the spoiler, but it's like, oh, it's binging and this and that. But as far as like any actual conversation over the show, I've not seen any of it. It's everywhere, like absolute lies. Is this game worth getting into? It's free. Hello. Takes you no money. Oh, I'm on this team. Costs you no money. You're asking an I, addict. Though. Yeah, you're asking. You never ask me. My answer is always yes. That being asked. said. That being said. I do think. If you already have played similar games, Gretchen. like I this is the best by Mars. Um, <laughs> if you <laughs> have a little bit of experience, right? Um, and you're willing to either pick up someone else's build or do your own. Um. That being said, POE 2 is coming out soon, and that's going to be quite different. I really don't want to get stabbed again. Who goes there? Focusing. But that's, that's just me. Allow me to focus. <laughs> when I watch Fallout, the Fallout Stop experience it. is all about my choices. Every time the protagonist does something I wouldn't, I lose all interest. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that, but I feel like they've they've provided at least like three archetypes. Like me, I'm just there to see what what Goggins gets up to, right? I've been a fan since Justified. I'm here like that's the man. He's got some very Jim Carrey the Mask vibes. Everyone's like, it's my boy. It. That's my dude. I like, saw I a that. really deranged tweet for us. Yeah. You like this? It was uh, yeah. just an Australian person that was like, um, every time Walter Goggins yeah. isn't on the screen, I go, where's Goggy? Where's Goggy? Where's Goggy? Where's Goggy? Until he comes back on the screen. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. <laughs> Goggy, where's Goggy, where's Goggy? Where's Goggy, where's Goggy, where's Goggy? After the show, though, where's Goggy? Where's Goggy? <laughs> I mean, he's very good. Oh, yeah. He does great. They're all they're very quick. good. They're all very good, the key leads. Like, well cast, well written. Yep. Sorry. Very Westworld vibes, because it's... Made by Christopher Nolan. Or Jonathan? Yeah, Jonathan Nolan. Jonathan Nolan. That okay. Nolan. That Nolan. Yeah. It's nice when people Are they don't related? talk about things that know what happened. Yeah, they're the brothers. Wait, they they're actually brothers. are? Yeah, they're brothers. <laughs> really? I assumed yes. there was a relation. Yeah. Um, they tend to work on things together a lot. I actually didn't know that. Hmm. 
Like my favorite story is Christopher Nolan was working with Jonathan Nolan for The Dark Knight, and Jonathan Nolan went. Um, he did the line, uh, "Fucking, you either." either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain and Christopher was like what the fuck are you on about man <laughs> his brother was like leave it in leave it in it's so good and then later when they wrapped up he's like oh I get it now <laughs> like, I wish I'd understood that at the time leave it in it's so good <laughs> yeah but no he's a very he's a very good writer I think uh, he helped write the start of Memento which is really good um, yes. was it? But to that uh, point, though, speak where you say it's nice when people don't talk about the things the moment it happens. Like the internet has become annoying use because anywhere you go, something's getting spoiled. When are you allowed to talk about it? You know, I'm okay if people just rip that stuff because I can leave. It's not like these people have opened my windows and they're shouting spoilers into the into the house. You know, <laughs> wouldn't that be something? You should be. You able don't to live shoot. on my street, Frost. Oh no! Did you see the newest episode of Bluey? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just starts going, Get out! Oh, man. <laughs> Get out of my house, John! <laughs> yeah, I think it's just been so strange where the internet gets super indignant of like, how dare you spoil things for me? In this place, the place where everyone talks about everything as it happens. Like, mm, I don't know. Why uh -huh. oh, is POE from 2013 on newly released? Because it just got a new league, brother. You're only allowed one it's birthday. It's still a pretty fresh ever. league. Like, we're still pretty early in the league. You can Key streamers out. are still yes. doing pretty lengthy streams. That means we're still at the start of the league. That's actually how you denote time for a new Path of Exile league. That being said, oh my, it is a huge week for me as a Hoyoverse enjoyer. Or as I prefer to call myself, I mean, Hoyo. -ho. And... Oh my god, huge week. Um, 4.6 dropping for uh, Genshin. Uh, and it's going to be massive. I am a big House of the Hearth. Like, I am a big Linear Enjoyer. And so, big patch for me. Big patch for me. It's going to be huge. A um, lot of lore coming our way. I don't need sleep. I need answers about Arlequino. <laughs> I need to understand if that woman is an error. And what does that mean? I, I have so many questions. Uh, meanwhile, I just pulled a Venturine and his weapon in Star Rail. And so I'm like, oh god, um, 4.2 is coming up. I have so many theories about Pentaconi. Like, it's really hard. Anyway, then I'm a Honkai Impact 3rd enjoyer, and I think the next patch for that's coming out soon. I just, and there's a lot of drip marketing happening this week. I just, this is too much to be excited about. This is too much. Stop that. Now I want to cry because I'm like, oh, so good. <laughs> Too much for it. Too much for me. And PoE is really good at the moment. At I the just want to play them all. Stop them. Everyone, I'm quitting my job. We're streaming. Let's go. I refuse to die here. You. It's just, I believe in spoiler etiquette. Sure, but I, I don't believe in policing other people's fun based on my own. My problem. Uh, my own ability to opt out of something. Yeah. Yeah. That's see, my problem somebody who, like, is yeah, like, I never, it? and you I might never. agree with this, I never mark anything as a spoiler on, um, it would seem our luck has not yet on Twitter. Uh, not spoiler. Um, oh, the, uh, I don't mute keywords. That's too many button yeah, presses. That's, yeah. I'm not going to do that. That being said, I, I also live dangerously and I don't With use the life. following, <laughs> I use for you. Um, because it Mind serves me lots of Fallout Boy and uh, Genshin yeah. and Hoyo stuff. Uh, it, it works great for me. So I live dangerously, but because of that, I also never get spoilers for anything. There you go. Let's see. I'll give, I'll give Darwin this one. Let me opt out. No, no spoilers in title. Like, I no will give you that. No spoilers in title. That's fair. Absolutely. Spoilers, yeah. I hate, Hide like, that in the everyone, mood. everyone says this. Where they're like, um, day one of release, I'm going on a YouTube and I see immediately a video that's like the bad guy with an arrow pointing at this motherfucker. Right? And I'm like, okay, that's egregious. Yeah, it's like, how do you? Uh, Let I me have five that. minutes have to I watch. You yeah. I'm not asking for ten, just five. The thing about sports, though, is 
like it's so in the moment though like i remember there would always be episodes in tv where it would be a fun little thing of like no 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 don't tell me about the result of the game i didn't get to watch it yet and that they would go through all this trouble to try and hide from it like you, you know you know what i mean i think that's just uh just i a, think a we all need to take a lesson for us yeah. from shows like masked singer <laughs> have you ever seen no dead serious here dead serious have you ever seen um when they do a like social media post for that show uh yes and how it's like spoilers incoming like it's this big video and like 10 yeah. seconds of the video is them being like spoilers incoming spoilers incoming yeah. and then it's like five four and then and then they cut they're like oh take it off and then you still have like 10 seconds in the clip of them having to take the head off before they're like oh my god it's beerless you've never heard of and you're like ah! <laughs> and i love that and couldn't we all take a note from that in our videos yeah, yeah. Like, well, you know? even they broke it though that one time where they were like, "It's Rudy Giuliani." I, I like, know what? there was one or two where they did happen, <laughs> and it's like, wait, they what? just let that shit rip. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, there was one or two <laughs> that it was like, all right, we're we're just going for this one, aren't we? It's Rudy Giuliani himself. Like, well, I, I guess not everyone can be spoiler free. So that's the thing, though. Speak. How did you know that was the final boss without context? Unless it's when they do things like the final boss. Arrow, like, all right, that's that's too much. What are we doing here? I don't know. I'm very, I'm very. What do you need? What is it? I guess I'm, I'm fortunate to not be ruined by spoilers. Because if the spoiler is interesting enough, they'll make me watch things. Like the amount of times I'll watch clips from movies, and then I go, you know what? I've seen about half of it through just clips. I might as well just commit, watch the whole thing now. So I need to show you something. Just un unfortunate as well. What can you do? I think uh, this is a, this is a weird take for sure. I think if you don't want something spoiled, that's definitely on you to uh, become a gremlin or not a gremlin, become a what was it a hermit for like the amount of time that you need to get in there and watch the thing. I can't imagine being in that Rudy audience, right? Like what the hell? Let me go get my things. Who would be the most surprising person to have on Masked Singer and win? People ask me why I do this at my, my guess is like People are rude. someone who's died. No, that would be pretty I'm surprising. Old. Oh god. <laughs> no, but it's pretty live, isn't it? Yeah, it's live. Oh. That's why it would be pretty surprising. The Pope. JFK, there you go. Hologram Jeez. Tupac, not again. <laughs> well, we got two votes for Tupac. We got one for a dinosaur. Just, point. Just a dinosaur. Oh, yeah. Velociraptor comes out, it's like, Rah! and then everyone's like, wait, what? Two JFKs, two Tupac. Easy pe oh, 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 no. Neck and neck tie. Vladimir Putin himself. I'm sure he has a lovely singing voice. Who does? Putin. Oh, God. So Ariag Dashlu has the mask here. <laughs> Phew! That gets the old heart racing. Don't move! Is that still going? The masked singer. Yeah. Yes. Stop that. They still do a season a year. It is somehow popular enough that it is still going. That's crazy. It's not like it's a one time thing. They have it in Australia yeah. too, but my god, ours is so bad. Why? The singing is bad, or...? No, the singing's great, but sometimes they'll have, like, an actual... Like, they'll have gotten an American or something, like an actual celebrity, and then you're like, wait, what? And then the rest of the time, it's like, this is just a news anchor. <laughs> <laughs> an Australian news anchor. Oh, God. <laughs> this is just a news anchor. Intruder! I can't. <laughs> ah, clever. I mean, enough. I'm pretty sure Lindsay Lohan is one of our judges on the show. Oh. 
And it's like, how come the how come she's more famous? Like, I don't understand. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel like the contestants should be more famous than the whole, pretty much everyone like the in the judges, building. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like the first time around, it was T Pain, I think. Yes, and everyone's like, ah! yeah, like why would why would he be here of all people? And see, that's fun because then you're like. How did no one guess it? Like you're an actual yeah, yeah, like yeah. GGs. Like no one guessed it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, exactly, Disky. Isn't the whole point supposed to be that, that when they're unmasked, you're supposed to know the person and be surprised? Yeah, it's just like, what is it? You remove the mask. Whoa! I have no idea who this person is. <laughs> it's like all Australian TV though, where they're like, it's the celebrity one, and we're like, okay, I don't know you. This is the news guy. <laughs> Or news anchor. Is that thing, Dancing with the Stars still going on? Yeah, is that, is that the like, talent show? Absolutely, that's still going. That, just need a uh, I don't know what all the big talent show things are. Still going. Like, uh, I'm a celebrity, America's get me out of here. Do you get that one? America's we get that one. No. This is meant to be delicate work. What? No. You don't have I'm a celebrity, get me out of here? No. Oh. Have you ever heard of I'm a celebrity, get me out of here? I feel like Yahtzee mentioned it. Because there is no way that is only an Australian show. Like, there's just no way. And if it is, oh, that's even worse. Like, no, I'm adamant there's an American one. I'm a celebrity get mad here. It says American. I was going to say, I'm like, there's no way I'm this is ours. I'm like, I'm like, we make some trash. You've and my God, we love Big Brother here. Except I'm the most recent the season. They went from one of the best seasons they've ever done. To an absolute heaping trash pile because they're like, fuck, what if we made it part Love Island? And everyone's like, no one asked for this. No one mm -hmm. asked for this. Let's think about why the last season worked. You brought back people's favorites and some new people. And it was really smart because they brought back favorites from way, way back when. You're right. And I it was like, like the reason that worked was because. Ahoy there. They were just personalities. Return soon, yes? And that was it. That was it. Nothing whatsoever. Uh, yeah, there. TV's kind of odd. What you gonna do? A little PR for you? A little... I don't know. I don't know what I would make celebrities do. What would you make um, celebrities do? You run it. All right. You run a television network now. Oh God. Mm. And you are oh. told. All right. We're going in. We're going in. It's like, what am I going to make them do? I don't know. It's like the mass Singer. What do you, what do you got here? Uh, I feel like, all right, I guess, see, I was never big on celebrity TV, but I, I like seeing them outside of their comfort zone, mm -hmm. so to speak. I, I don't know who watched this. It was like very small and tiny and hardly ever worked. <laughs> but Shaq versus, where Shaq what? would challenge professionals in their sport what? Or whatever, whatever oh doing. my yeah. god that sounds so good well like it, yeah it was pretty like the big one was he went against michael so phelps I'm but sick. he had such a massive yes. handicap Ave. i love that because <laughs> that's that oh i love that one of the oh best my. at their sport Challenging other people. That, oh my, I want to find that now. Right That's so good. I love that, that concept. Um, pros versus Joes. That was good. It's uh, like you get old, these old sports heads like uh, Michael Vick going against uh, the up and comer uh, football players and whatever the, whatever the sport was. I guess Celebrity Survivor wasn't so bad. Yeah. I used to love Survivor when I was little. Nah, I haven't watched it more recently. <laughs> what? It'll be empty. Enemies heading our way. In Japan, there's a whole thing of American celebrities, celebrity athletes doing sumo for a day. <laughs> oh my god. What? Just one day, not two. Just That's too many. And survive. Do they make them eat everything or just sumo? Because if you're gonna make me sumo, I want to eat the sumo food too. What? What is sumo? <laughs> sumo food? They eat like. Uh, I think I believe it's called like chanko or chaco. It's this huge, delicious soup that they eat. There's so much of it. Big soup. 
Big soup. It's just big soup. Big soup. Exile. Oh, summer soup. You've this? heard of big farmer. Get ready for big soup. Mm -hmm. Abe? Is that Abe? Nah, Chunko Nabi. Yes, thank you. Flavor of love. Flavor of love. What? Don't you want an audience? That would be interesting. Um, there was also, what was it? Whenever Bear Grylls took a celebrity with him to survive. That was interesting. Whenever he took a celebrity with him to survive. Yeah. I would never agree to that. Get him! I think the the better one right now is probably got to be hot ones, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Spicing everybody up. 100%. Oh. Just like it's small, you can have some questions and then you spice them up, see how it goes. What so, an anti -climax. But really, I would have um, a quick little show called How Generous Are You? Where we just see how much money the celebrities are willing to give me, and that's the show. To give me! Yeah, it pays for itself. Keep going. Many varieties of chunkonabe, miso stew or curry. Giant curry with loads of random proteins and loads of dark greens and root vegetables. It looks so good. I also love Don't Laugh 24 hours in Japan every new year. That's crazy. Uh, Eve saying, Amy, do you think you'll do your solo streams with Alex again soon or are you too busy? The amount I cry every day is unlikely. <laughs> Uh, I I want to. It's not that I don't want to. Um, there just isn't much time in a day. Um, and so by the time I kind of can, it's already a bit too late. Um, it is every intention that I do get back into it. And I have really genuinely been meaning to. Um, Take a bow. But currently, like, there's TV shows on that we're watching too, so then that's taking up extra time that we watch with my mom. Um, so it's tricky, but I, I do fully intend to come back. I do fully intend to come got? back. I just don't know when. Like, I can't even think Good of what time would be the best either, which is what makes it a little bit tricky, but we're getting there. Eggs. We're getting there. Secondary is... Is demolition and shrimp just on? There you go. That's 323 hours in a day. Imagine. That'd be nice. I could do so much. I really wish. Wait. Power, <sighs> sparks, probe, and... Yep. 323 good. hours in a day? I might fit a nap in. No. Haven't come across this meat before. Just need well, a moment. let's give it a go. That's, that's what'll give me that. Moron. Moronic moron. A Japanese oh, game show where they wear a monocolor onesie and race upstairs that have large amounts of lube oh, flowing me. down them. It's okay. Oh. The rest is like, oh, tell me more. It's like, I think that's you it. I don't know if there is any more to say. Yeah, no. I think I think it has been said. <laughs> How much do I pay them to let me in on that? <laughs> How much do I pay them to let me in? They're like, no, 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 you don't have to pay us. And then it's like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no, you gotta be careful with that kind of stuff, though. Who was it? Was it Godfrey Gao? He was an actor supermodel. Ended up dying on one of those game shows because what? of course, beyond exertion. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was a beautiful man. He was in. Um, he was Magnus Bane in the Mortal Instruments movie. He died in. What was he? Yeah, Twenty nineteen. It's okay. Thirty five. This dude peak peak of his condition. And just got oh, no, pushed, legendary stock. pushed. Like, how did you manage? I see you. This needs a big one. When even I there think too loud, that's chase me is what it was called. Yeah. Chinese rowdy TV show. Tougher than I look, eh? What's the best YouTube show to have celebrities? Hot ones. Um, Kim Sort cold as balls. I like <clears throat> Hot One. My two favorite celebrity YouTube shows: you. Hot Ones and Nardwar. He's just and a little what? weirdo. I love him. Nardwar. He's like this weird. They call him a guerrilla journalist, not guerrilla as in the monkey. No, guerrilla no, no, as I, in I just, yeah. warfare. <laughs> because he knows a little too much, and he tends to freak out 
whoever he interviews because he just knows too much about them. Yeah, that would be kind of weird. And they tend to be rappers <laughs> who do not take well to their history being that well known. Nordwar, big ass. <laughs> yeah, well, no, Drake loved him. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Have you guys seen the UK panel show Taskmaster? It's so creative. Of course I even take the time to enjoy this. Elder abuse. There's a VR oh, game coming out of that soon, and I think that's going to be so interesting. There you go, game of the year. I wanted to save this one for a special occasion. You owe me a new bomb. You owe me a new bomb. They got Taskmaster Australia, Taskmaster New Zealand. Mm -hmm. What is the premise of this thing? The pointless tasks. That's good. I do still think the UK one is the best iteration because it's the combination of Alex Horn and Greg Davies. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw an incredible clip. I and I don't I... think it got um that being said, no, Taskmaster NZ is actually pretty good, which is interesting. Which is quite, quite interesting. Um but the UK is the best one just because of that four. But there was a really good clip that went around on Twitter recently that was cut from the actual episode. But it was them it, it, it was a side clip of it being so it's like season fifteen or whatever it's up to. And they go um oh, hi there. He goes, uh oh, this you didn't write this the way I thought you would. You'll just need to give us a minute. And then one of the contestants goes, Wait. And points at the like at not Greg Davies, he points at Alex Horn and he goes, Huh. Are you actually using the tablet? And he goes, Yes. And Greg Davies looks at him and goes, we've been doing this for this many seasons and it took me until two seasons ago to realise that that wasn't a prop. And everyone was like, wait, what? And he goes, well, we don't know how he's going to score it until he scores it. So, yes, I do it on this tablet. And then it comes up on the screen and they're like, surely there's a better way to do that. And they're like, oh, absolutely there is. We've just never done it that way. But, like, none of them knew that that was how it worked, was that it was actually the dude that sits next to him was the one scoring it, changing the things that then go up on the screen. God. Yeah, the newest season outtake. No, I swear I, I didn't watch that clip two days ago. I watched that clip at least a week ago. It was, it was definitely more than two days ago because I watched it while I was at work. And two days ago was a Saturday. I definitely watched that on, like, Wednesday. I but was. it was it was very very interesting to me. It was a very good clip. You. That'd be me. I always assume everything's fake in a production studio. Or even anytime there's a camera, everything that I see is fake. I don't know if you guys ever saw that clip of there was this one streamer where if you paid him money, right? He would it would automatically print out your donation message to him. And then oh, he I would love take those, that. Yeah. And he would put it on this fridge that was in his room. And one of the donations says, show us what's in the fridge. And he's like a villain, just a villain reveal going, you want to see what's in the fridge? I'll show you. There is nothing. There is no fridge. It was just a cardboard cutout as he was moving it. And I'm like, oh my God. Like nothing, nothing inside of a camera space is real. The That's room I'm so in is not funny. Real. You're not real. Yeah. It's all props. Yeah, Frost isn't real. I'm not real. We all know I'm this. AI. Yeah. I'm actually asleep right now, tucked in, going. I'm <laughs> actually asleep right now. Don't. It's 7 a.m. Look, 7.07 7 a.m. I wish I was sure. asleep. Don't know if it's real. I'm sure. Yeah, we could. Excuse me. I'm sure bed streams will pick up at some point. Streaming from your bed, Meta. It's among us. Ahoy there. Greetings. That'll, that'll catch on. Or what are the more like strange places you can stream in? Because due to the or the real life streaming that's taken 
cameras to places where it shouldn't be, you like the men's pack. bathroom. Oh god. Yeah. So now I'm wondering, like, where where is it gonna settle? I mean, I've definitely seen not like actual bed stream, but like, you know, when people are doing like non-stop stream until X happens or whatever. Right. Oh, that's right. No, I don't mean like they're asleep in the bed. I'm talking they are in the bed awake, and they're streaming from there because they just want to stay horizontal. But you know what? I respect. I respect that. You know, just pop the camera up top and just hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, it's me, Horizontal Steve. Horizontal Steve. Back at it again with another Hell's Kitchen reaction video. I have so many questions about what that would be like. Fun, fun, fun. Well, Not enough to ask them. Oh, well, yeah, no. So you just do your thing. That's a big thing. I wasn't a fan of Hell's Kitchen. I, how is it? Gordon can be a very pleasant man to watch if you watch the UK version of him. He tends to not be all played up for the American audience. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's um, currently we have a uh, Gordon Ramsay's. I think it must have maybe finished, and I haven't seen who won or anything. Um, but we we recently had Gordon Ramsay's food stars. Um, and it was him Hello. and a woman named Janine, who is one of our like main sharks on company. Australian Shark I'm Tank. Old, um, and like, it is really good because he'll definitely have his moments where he's like, Piece "What the fuck?" Where he does look at them and he's like, "Come on, what the fuck?" Um, yeah. But for the rest of it, like. He does have such a camera charisma that you're right. In his American shows, it becomes a caricature in many ways, and is very over exaggerated for the the effect and the impact. Um, whereas, like for ours, it's it's like that meme where it's like how he speaks to the adults. It's like idiot sandwich, and then the children. It's like, come here, dear. You've done an amazing. But it's like that is him though. Yeah. He he is both of those things. One is just far more hammed up for the camera than the other. Oh, yeah. What was that one he made? I think it was like Food Pyramid or some nonsense where they're cooking on three different levels. What? <clears throat> yeah, I, I forgot what it was called, but essentially the show goes. It's like they build this massive vertical kitchen, so to speak. And all the kitchens on the bottom level are like, this stuff is broken, the fridge sucks, the equipment is terrible, and at the highest level, all the stuff is great, fantastic, top quality. Huh. I haven't uh, I heard of this. And it was interesting, because he, he's not as much of a prick in that one, but one of them at the bottom kitchen forgot to grab uh, protein and had to make a meal with protein and carbs and starches and blah 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 right 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 and gordon's just like all right well you better you better do something magical with this and the guy just like just nervous as hell obviously fucked it up yeah absolutely clutched it out with this crazy right like vegan vegetarian dish and gordon ramsay absolutely just mouth agape <laughs> and like wow what is going on here yeah. yeah i like i like him more when he's actually enjoying life instead of just laying into some oh, idiot because there's intrigue there's interest it's... yeah yeah mad people are easy to find this is uh, there was We're a clip everywhere. from a UK show where a guy serves gordon a rotten scallop that makes him vomit and he's just like fuck mate you have to be more careful not cool yeah a lot more chill with that i like the one where he travels the world too and he's like partaking in their cultures Ramsey liking a vegetarian dish. It was really well made. Not that I tasted it, but it looked great. Not that I, I wasn't there. I didn't taste I wasn't it. There. When Frost is like, surprise, it was me. No, yeah, the twist. I was the dish. I, I was the dish. I was the one being served. Next level chef. That's the one. Thank you. Next yeah. level chef. Okay, that I've heard of. Food pyramid. Uh, never heard of that, but I'm into it. Better, better phrasing there. Yeah. And again, <laughs> coming back to where the stream started, better name. Better name. Rams yeah. Gordon Ramsay's food pyramid. Because I, I dig that because there's so many layers to that, right? It's like, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was an interesting concept, though. I liked it because you'd get the cooks at the top level where they're like, you have the best equipment, but you're still cooking mid. <laughs> so. Yeah, be better. Yeah, be better than this. Yeah. Don't, don't be uh, mid. Yeah, it's yeah, gamers, no. no. Don't be mid. Don't be, don't be so Top bitter. line or bottom line? Yeah. Oh, God. 
Uh, yeah, the F word. I think that's what it was no. called. Uh, like he's uh, he's noodling in like Louisiana for catfish and nice shooting and pigeons in the UK. That was interesting. Oh, no, but I, I do. I think that's why I don't like so much reality television. A lot of that drama is just scripted and really hammed up. Which is fine, but there's enough of that. Like, I walk through the street and I'll, I'll, I'll meet like five very angry wankers throughout the day. It's like, I don't want it. I don't want to deal with these people. And I'll meet five very angry wankers. Yeah, throughout the whole day. Is that, is that just your normal, like, Monday? Like, what's going on, bro? That is an average, yeah. That is just like a. From here to the good. Uh, what is it? From here to the deli and back. At least five. The Bachelor is still real to me. <laughs> the Bachelor is real to me. Uh, who said that? <laughs> that <was Sir> George <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> uh, Unfortunately, yeah. Like, are they still doing? Oh, this nah, nah. If we're talking about reality TV, surely, I think I talked about this last week. The game Just that um, Devolver announced they were publishing about a week ago, a week and a half ago, maybe. Um, mm -hmm. Oh my God, what's it called? I, I've retweeted it and it's called like, um, not the chat house, it's called something. Um, and I wish I could remember the name because it looks absolutely brilliant and it's Crush House, it's called Crush House. And I was like, it starts with a C, the Crush House. And it is about, putting together a reality TV for the mm. audience. But there's something more sinister happening. And so it's as you keep going through, it's like, oh, they just want to see the butts. And so you have to frame the butts. And and it's like, why are they so into the butts? And then it's like, but so, what else is going on here? What what are the contestants doing? Why can they only drink like this Whiz Fizz juice or whatever it's called? Whiz Fizz. Um, I mean, Whiz Fizz is a lolly, but. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> But like it, it looks it looks incredible. It looks absolutely amazing as a concept, and I'm so excited to get my hands on it. Um, I think that's coming out later this year. But it's called the Crush House. Um, hello, it looks hello, hello. Fucking weird as hell and amazing, and I love everything about it. Look at that! It's gonna be a game of the year, probably. The sinister underlying creepiness in reality yeah. games, just like Squid Game. That's the thing that the Squid Game reality TV show is missing. You need somebody to try and, like, break into the thing and save their brother. But you got to make them sign a waiver, and then it's not really a surprise anymore, is it? Good timing. I've been looking Isn't there a game like this as well? Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's quite a few, like... What is it? This it is, might have been me. I was about talking about it. Framing it. Yeah. <laughs> it genuinely, it could have been me talking about it previously on this stream. I'm old, but you still. Oh uh, no! You're thinking of American Arcadia. No, that's a Truman no? Show type beat, man. That's I can of. guarantee that's potentially what Jonathan Ross here is thinking of, though. Maybe, yeah. Yachts did review the game. That was alright. Had a I Yuri Lontal in it. Yeah. He's so great. He's yeah. in Genshin. He's Peter Parker. Yeah, he He's knows everything. everything. The thing is, him in Genshin, he actually must know everything. Because he voices quite an interesting character named Dainsleaf. Um, mm. Also, I just want to take a moment to shout out that one guy who is still saving for Dainsleaf, despite Ooh. the fact that that character is still at Shortly least two built. years away. Um, oh, okay. Like, mad shout out to that guy. Okay. I think Follow of you every day. I think of you every day. I think of you every day. I do! Oh, what were you getting at, though? With Yuri Lomenthal and his knowledge of everything? He has to know everything that's going on in Genshin because the role his character plays means that he probably had a rough idea from the beginning, the vague outline of where it was going. Um, because when he said yes to that role, it meant that it was going to be like a nine year role, pretty much. Um, cause his character, Dainsley, there is a Dainsleaf quest every year. There is at least one Dainsleaf quest. Um, and so, current year 
is it'll be the next patch after the current House of the Hearth patch that we're about to get. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. I pressed too many buttons. Oh, God. Oh, let's go. Oh, God. Go, Vindari. Go, go, go. I don't work well under pressure. Um, but yeah, so he must know so much about Genshin. Even though they've changed their minds a little bit on some bits and pieces, but the broad strokes, I imagine, are pretty established. It knows everything and anything. They're too planned. This is Yuri Lowenthal probably should have won an acting award for the amount of work he's put in the industry. You tend to get those, like, later, <laughs> later in life. Yeah. What are those called? The life awards, yeah? To I guess. This one for a special occasion. The actors get them you whenever they're like 90. Well, how's and Dick I Van Dyke mean, getting nominated for a guest spot award the as the, like the oldest person to ever get a nomination? Oh, jeez. Oh. Lifetime Achievement know. Awards? There you go. Imagine getting a Lifetime Achievement Award at like 20 years old. But then it's because the industry wants you gone. They're like, hey, you've done enough. It's because they want you gone. Here, take this and leave. You've done enough for a lifetime. Thank you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> John saying, hey, Frost, Amy, have either of you watched Shogun? I keep getting clips recommended on YouTube, no. and from what I've seen, it looks really I'm good. Not. The clips do look good. I do like that character. He's he's funny. And the relationship with like his translator, because he's just out here like really, really cursing the guy out and saying all these things through gritted teeth, where she's like, he's not happy. <laughs> he's not he's happy. He's, he's a little disappointed. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, uh, I haven't. Definitely one probably on my list. Fallout's currently the one we're making our way through, but uh, that's okay. definitely another one we'll probably check out. Um, I'm scared because Nick loves it, and everything Nick loves dies or turns to shite, as you can see from his Star Wars love, um, Warriors. Uh, I forgot what the other thing was. Every time he's like, you got to get in on this, it dies. Viva Pinata, you know. That's Viva dangerous. Pinata. Yeah. It's a low blow for us. It's a low blow. Oh. It's, been, it's been like 10 years. Happy hunting. I think Yuri's one of those actors who doesn't want to know anything else other than the script they're handed. Not sure. He strikes me as a big fanboy. Absolutely. I think he loved like Westworld, you know. Any show that's ever been canceled, Nick probably liked it. That's why. So dead. you know where to send your ire. <laughs> Not Jeff Bezos and his mismanagement of Rings of Power. No, no, no. Yeah. What is that? Well, what, what, do you you think, what do you think you're doing, Max? Mm. I don't want to do a little Bam. lady. Boom. Go Bezos. away. Be gone. Oh, What's the job? Linking links in this chat. How dare you? No. Linky link links. What should you call it? Uh, I'm more eager to try things out whenever people say, like, hey, it's one season and one season only. I'm like, yeah. I get sad when yeah, my anime is finished. Like, in general, or? Yeah. Because uh. we've made our way through some really good ones recently. Just yeah. need a moment and now I'm like, oh, man. I see you, scum. <laughs> What do I do next? So, we have a job to I don't do. know. We're currently watching Delicious in Dungeon. Let's wow, so good. Oh, good um, well. Again, Reborn is a vending machine in another life, and now I wander the dungeon. Easily one of the best anime I Any have and words? potentially ever will watch. Mashal, phenomenal. Solo leveling, amazing. Uh, when's My Dress Up Darling Season 2 coming Your out? That's got to be soon, this. right? Oh, Bocce the Rock? Where's that? Where's my season two of Bocce? <laughs> Shogun's a mini series, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, is it over? Like, is it done? It's over. Like, is it safe to watch it? Everything's a mini series until it's not. Until it's like, a mega series. Whoa. -ho. You wanna dance? It's like pickleball. Oh, no. I tell you, once pickleball gets popular, they're gonna be like, what if we double the size of the court? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Just back to Tiny one. tennis is now big yeah. tennis, and then everyone's big like, tennis. "Wait a minute! I think Whoa. I think someone already did this." Yeah. You're mine. I, don't know. I think limited series are starting to pick up now that canceling after one season is so common. No, I thought so too, and I was more eager to watch them. But then they kept on making them not limited. So I said, "What's the point?" Yeah. 
It was um, yeah, limited. Was, how you just didn't do twenty two episodes? Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. like very good. It's one of those like watch it first and then I'll give you the next bit. It's like, well, now I definitely don't want to watch it. No, I don't want it. Forgot what it was called. It's like the stranger, the watcher, that one about the weird house. It was limited, and then I watched it, and then they said, okay, season two's coming out. So that's not what I wanted. Uh, Josh Knowles with the $2. 200 chapters of solo leveling are available. I want to <laughs> watch it, not read it. If I were to get into the mun was, how you, how you go about that? You just, like, I don't... I, got a guy I am going to have to get into the Comic Can't Communicate manga, because... Um, mm. Devastatingly, Netflix have never said it's cancelled, but they've never given details about Very good. continuing. Stay focused. And I'm like, oh, this is the greatest <sighs> thing ever. And I love my Kobe. <laughs> and so now I'm sad because I'm like, I just want to just play. I just want to watch Kobe. I just want to watch what? Comey. Comey can't communicate. Oh. Toodles. Uh, so I'm going to have to get into that one so I can... Oh, damn it. Just put the one back on. Because I forgot that my phone's not charged. So he can't communicate. Talk to no one else. What? Uh, either of you watched The Owl House on Disney Plus? Nah, that mouse ain't I getting my money. I have not. The mouse ain't getting my money. Mouse ain't getting my money, brother. I'm in a. I'm really like pulling back from my streaming services. Anything I care for, I just. I'm, I'm gonna hunt it down on Blu ray. They want to play this game? I don't like physical like that. Well, it's not that I don't like physical, I, I prefer the convenience of. Of digital, but now I'm getting more paranoid. But, like, what's the point of all these streaming sites? Reborn as a vending machine? That's a good one. Yeah, hunt down those bluey Blu rays. Exactly. God, I love Reborn as a vending machine. Kind of done with cable too. Yeah, and Disney announced that they're gonna have Disney channels again on their streaming site. I'm like, Disney what? What's channel. happening? <laughs> what? It's like they heard me. Me and Marty were talking about, uh, you know, how back in the day you could just turn on the TV and something was playing and you didn't really have to pick. They said, fine, we'll do it. Da -da 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 just need a moment to catch my breath. Able to do is coming. Everybody's going on streaming sites. Did you guys see that Watchers got a streaming site now? That's crazy. The who? It's um, a group of three dudes who were big on BuzzFeed. Oh. Uh, they was they went separate, made their own channel called Watcher, and now they're off YouTube entirely. And they're like, we're making a streaming site. Like, what? what? What's happening? That's wild. That's a choice. Yeah, that is a weird choice, eh? Yeah, well, I don't know. Well, Godspeed, I guess. Do what you will. I think I'm going to start a Blu-ray collection or something, seeing as how movies and shows get moved or removed from streaming services so often. Yeah, I was like, how often, you know? I, this is more so for my, for my girlfriend than me, because it takes me forever to watch something, whereas she loves her comfy uh, mm. binges. And I'm like, at this point, we could have already owned Breaking Bad and House and D and you know, Stranger Things. Yeah, I'm with you there, John. I'm actually surprised that more like streaming services don't do what Amazon does, where it's like, yeah, we offer movies, but we also offer so much other stuff. Yeah, That's would you the like only some reason... free games with your Prime? Sure. Not even just games. Would you like free shipping, you know? Hmm... Like, I have Amazon Prime because I use Amazon so much. Yeah. And, you know, there you go. Have something to watch with it. Have some content with your package. Have some like entertainment. To watch yeah. Would you like to watch uh, The Expendables while you wait for your... 
<laughs> Crash Bandicoot gloves to show up. Your Crash Bandicoot gloves. Your no Crash Bandicoot this. jorts. Oh yeah. Mm. We'll go back and do the ultimatum in a second. Restart blockbusters for Blu-ray only? No, I don't know, man. Imagine that, like out of nowhere, it's like, oh my god, they're back. I'm sure, yeah, we're there, we're just recreating cable. Amazon did add advertisements to its videos. I'm okay with it because I'm not paying extra for that. And I've been working out in between the um, all the ad breaks. I'm getting pretty ripped. Just five little sit-ups here, two little squats there. Yeah, like a plank through for the whole minute, you know? It's not bad. I'm impressed yeah. it's only a minute of ads. Yeah, yeah, no. That's, um, I forgot who it was. They're okay about it. Hulu does it too, but Hulu does this Just weird thing where the longer you binge, the longer the ads get. What? I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, so like you'll start with these 15 second ads and then 30 seconds and then a minute most. And then later, if you've been watching for like three hours, they're like, all right, but have like a two minute block of ads. They're probably hoping I fell asleep. Approaches. Like when I, as soon as I sleep, it probably just goes straight to nothing but ads. And I wake up and the show's back. With this, Frost, I commend you for not becoming a pirate. Many have crossed over to the life of the Jolly Roger after the Netflix price debacle. I'm just, uh, what do you call it? I'm, uh, I have technophobia. Uh -oh. It's not a moral, it's not a moral thing to me. It's, uh, I can't be bothered to give myself a virus like that. <laughs> the expected choice. Like, I, I like my products to be regulated by somebody. And so, you know. I don't I trust myself to not like, hey, the new Avatar movie, and it's only two kilobytes? Sure, <laughs> I'll download that. Suspicious, so so suspicious. I feel like a lot of people who pirate just kind of do it for the sheer joy of it, but they don't want to admit that. That stealing's fun, they just want to act moral. But it's like, it's not about that, brother. Just say you like stealing things. I, I get it. As soon as I check into a hotel, the first thing I do is grab all the little soaps and the shampoos. I understand. Yeah, I like little soapy soaps. Little soaps, yeah. They always like strip all the oils out of my hair. Those things should probably get rid of car grease. That's crazy. Like, who was it? I forgot who it was on a comment. <clears throat> they um were like, oh, Frost, I figured you of all people would have the balls to mention piracy and how that's a valid option. So you give yourself a virus, dog. I'm not about that. Yeah. Like, this is the I'm thing. I'm not talented or insightful enough to avoid the virus, so I am yeah, not. Like, to, to, to people who only game, sure, your back's against the wall and you're like, I'm going to pirate things. Whereas other people, it's like, I'm going to read a book. I'm going to watch a movie. I'm going to, right? If this falls apart, you're not going to catch me in the Fallout, like the Fallout video game world. Yeah. Where, like, people are torrenting and shiz. I just go to watch movies or something. I'll go listen to music. I take the free towels. What? They're not free? What? I guess I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the room. I take <laughs> the yeah, Good night, Eve. You take the I what? take good the night. pens. You know, stolen pens write better. Everyone knows this. I mean, that's science. For just us. Need a you can't deny to science. Every pen that just like sucks upon purchase has always been mine. I stole a pen once from a hotel when I was 14. That thing lasted me at least five years. That was, that was wild. I like that that pen was good enough. You remember it. Mm-hmm. Because that's like my golden standard for pens. And since then, you've just been disappointed? Exactly. I'm like, that's wow, sad. this is only lasted three minutes. So it's the page that did it to him. I've torrented 100 games, 2,000 movies, and 1,000 books in my torrent phase. No virus. Yeah, but for what? You know? 
you can't feel it. What's the point? I like the feel of the Blu-ray on my body. <laughs> oh my god. Also, like if something this is the thing, as somebody who grew up in like a the strange parts of town. Uh if something happens to you, you no one can help you. That's why I don't really uh, I'm not gonna get like, oh go on to the high seas, be free. Like, no, for what? Be safe, sure, but no one can help you there. I'm being facetious, but I do like physical books over mm. downloaded. Like, uh, yeah, I thought the smell. Oh, I don't know what I, I like, like more. The, the new book smell or the old book smell? Ooh. Do we like the smell of a library? Except not the ones that sell coffee. I'm not a big fan of the coffee smell. Frost, you don't write physically enough, then I think my pen's expired within two to three weeks when I deplete the ink. Listen, brother, I'm, I write. I'd, I'd be writing on. I got sticky notes. I'm still a man who uses sticky notes. Are you kidding me? You're telling me the writer doesn't write enough? You won't escape me. You're probably right. I bet you sickos write like crazy. Can't stop me. Can't stop me. Just Can we go to a swap meet? I see so many mofos there selling Spider games for like five bucks a pop. No, uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it though. Some companies put glitches in the game to stop torrenting, like Game Dev Tycoon, and you effectively telling yourself when the glitch happens. I suppose I'm just here. Like I want the product at its best, and the only way I can guarantee it's at its best is when it's sold from a regulated mm -hmm. person. That's it. Low on mana. Kill, kill. Yeah, that too, Matthew. Yeah, reading on a screen tends to hurt after a while. Loving Amy's stash organization. <laughs> I actually do you have reasonable stash organization. Breath. It's just I'm on stream and I don't... I'll deal with it all after. It's easier than me sitting here going through all of my gear and, and stuff I pick up now. Right. Oh. Find that physical books give my eyes a break. I spent so much time looking at screens for work and other leisure. It's nice to not stare into a flashlight. Yeah, even then I have um, I've got one of those like reading tablets that's backlit. It's not the same as reading off paper. It feels more delicate on the eyes. It's so delicate. Yeah. Also find like books for some reason. They had a much nicer dimension and size for my eyes, whereas a monitor feels like it never gets the size just right. And the phone is so goddamn compact that I can't read but five, more than five words without being like my eyes auto scrolling down. It makes it really hard to read in real life. I did Disky, yeah. Uh, Dredge is getting a video adaptation. I'm so happy. Oh, that yeah, that's good. pretty cool. Isn't that so kind of already exists? Yeah. What was it? The Lighthouse with Willem Dafoe? Kind of. That's just dredge. That's just dredge. Uh, oh, anyone else ever use Nico Blog? No, what's that? Nico Blog. Sounds like a no no site. Right? Proper trade paperback kind of guy. Let me a paperback. It's hardback sometime, you know. I want my paperback. Paperback, paperback. Free game ROMs. ROMs of what? ROMs of war. Yeah, got shot down. Tragic, man, tragic. That's passion, I guess. Nobody steals things they're not passionate about, except for kleptomaniacs. <laughs> Is it a no-no site also a yes, yes, yes site? Oh yeah, Dio. Jotaro, is that how you feel? Uh-oh. What's the book? Like I do, I need a, what's that, I got like a, like a bookstore near me? I need to go down there, grab me another book. Say hello, thank you for your service. Thank you, yeah. For your physical copies. Mm. 
and they're like buy oh. local, which is sad because there was a there was a restaurant, well not a restaurant, fast food oh. place near me called Taco Town that I'd been waiting for for so long to try out, but I had this list of all these other oh. things I wanted to try first. I finally get there and they're closed down and their billboard sign thing at the end, their dying words were buy local. Oh <laughs> no. I was like, no, I was good. I was trying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, poor bastards. Half price books is a dangerous place to go. You always end up spending money on books, right? How could they? To admit, physical books give you the joy of turning the page, and best of all, you can see your progress. Knowing I'm 22% through a book doesn't do much for me, right? Yeah, you look down, and it's just like 22%, 23%. <laughs> and like I think a progress it. bar like that actually hurts me more because I'm like, am I slow? <laughs> am I not am I reading slow? good enough? <laughs> I need it to grade me now. <laughs> I need an XP bar. Oh, that's good. Yeah, no, I like being. It actually does. To... I'm like, okay, I need oh. to read faster. Then I'm like, oh no, now I'm not getting the content. Like, oh god, oh god. Ruined it. Ruined it. Uh, We've ruined reading do, everyone. I do like just feeling like if you got a nice big hefty book, like, you kind of struggle at first to keep the pages balanced, and then um. I love how like the weight shifts from that right hand to the left hand as you keep on making your way through and you're like, yeah, I'm making good oh, progress here. Fuck. So good. Unless it's manga, you know, then it's backwards. I'm not finishing this month with this. A full Stephen King collection in that corner right there. Yeah. Want to get some mold going on here? Mm -hmm. Also, it feels good to throw a bad book in the garbage bin. Dear God. I've got a fireplace, you see, so... Books have those built-in progress bars, right? You can just feel it. Where everybody knows where you're like, how deep am I into it? And it's like, eh, there we go. Like, where's... I got a book right here. I got a bunch of books here. Hold on. Ugh. Like, I got this bad boy right here. A little cookbook action. Oh, look at that cookbook. So good. Nice print. It's pretty. I could kill somebody with this. You can kill anybody with a virtual book. It's got a nice sharp corner if I catch someone's eye. Oof. If someone's trying to steal my books, that is. I don't just go like, someone's trying to steal murdering my murdering people. Yeah. No. How I... do you like the game, Amy? Yeah. Um, Looks like a Diablo. One and a half like. thousand hours in. It's an ARPG. They're all ARPGs. Prince is the correct way to have cookbooks. Agreed. Especially, it allows you to have character. Cookbooks are superior as far as telling the story so of the online, person reading it. Especially comparative to, especially the way, um, what's his names are done online now. Oh god, yeah. Recipes online. My mum, it does her head yeah. in. She's like, <laughs> I don't need just to know to all this shit. Breath. Like, just give me the recipe. Mm. Mm. And I'm like, there is a reason it's done. It's a shit reason. And she's like, I hate it. I hate it. Yeah. I love like being handed down a cookbook and I open it up and there's like notes, conversions, yeah. sauce splattered all over the page. I was like, yeah, somebody got good use out of this one. Yeah, that's how you know the good ones. And then you get to one that looks fresh and clean and you're like, it's like all this right, we avoid this one. Trash. So, yeah, we don't, we don't look at that one. Mm. <laughs> We don't talk about that page, you know? That page, yeah. Never tried anything in that one. My grandma's Puerto Rican cookbook that I inherited wouldn't feel the same if it was digital. Exactly. Like, uh, in Venba, they, you get to go through this simulated cookbook adventure kind of thing. I would love if they made that merchandise. This gave you that actual cookbook. Oh, a story where the cookbook's a book of recipes on how to murder people. That's just a Twilight Zone. Too well, is it? To serve man. Well. So I played the first Diablo. That was all I ever needed from the ARPG genre. But I gotta admit, No Rest for the Wicked looks like it's doing enough new and this different is things. Not, I'm excited to try it. This is not No Rest for the Wicked. Yeah, no. 
Uh, this, whatever it's doing, you let me know, because I've yet to meet somebody who can run the game yet. Probably follow a YouTube tutorial for anything. YouTube tutorials are for technique. I agree. Like if I'm, <clears throat> what do you call it? If I'm gonna cook something, even something that I already know, I always check the uh, the quick tutorial video. Another nice day, eh? <laughs> That's fun. Pew pew pew. Don't it's have the Fallout good. cookbook. Rad stew. What? I'm just thinking of Fallout Yeah, it's too. What's in this thing, anyhow? I haven't gotten a chance to cook out of it yet. Dabrella cooking show win. There you go. Some delicious bell peppers, rangoons, past turn I puffs. I a really big stir. Not too so heavy. Uh. Got to a light, gentle touch. A sprinkle it with just enough love. That's how you know it's good. Everyone that you know is gonna think it's the bestest thing ever. Okay. Packed with what? energy, exile. Packed That's so with good. energy. Love cooking, hate baking. Yes, there's so many of us. I'm the opposite. Ew. Does that make me weird? No, it just makes you a baker. I'm a baker. Just need a moment to. Bought an old cookbook breath. recently that actually gives guidance on skills, substitutes, and how to tell if meat and fish are fresh. It was super helpful and interesting. What is that, Julia Child's Joy of Cooking? <laughs> mm, well, she, hers does that. That's why it was so popular. Does it actually? Oh yeah, and it was written in a very candid way. Things like, um, you know, I forgot what it was that she was cooking, but she was like, you know when it's ready because it feels like a stiff cock. I was like, what? Yes. <laughs> exactly like that. Exactly like that. It's the Fanny Farmer cookbook. There you go. Low on my oh, what now? Fanny Farmer. <laughs> Disky, eh? <laughs> yeah, she was, uh... Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd call it vulgar. She was a New England woman. They talk like that, all of them. The expected choice, without exception. Anyone who tells you no, they're liars and prudes. Boston cooking school. See, it's always the Bostonians. Good old Bostonia. Good old Bostonia. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh. What? what were you exiled for? Jaywalking? Uh, we don't talk about what I was exiled for. Luigi's Mansion 3 worth the time. I'd say so. Marty likes it. Oi. They both need to live in this issue. Yeah, I just got to grow them. I have right now the World of Warcraft cookbook, the Ultimate Gamers cookbook, the Snoop Dogg cookbook. The Snoop Dogg cookbook. His is probably the funniest, but the food that I would not want to cook and That's very questionably fair. eat. Yeah. It is very much like stoner food, but dude's got too much money. It's an amusing mix. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like high class, <laughs> high class high. Here I go. High class high. Oh my this god, please tell me that is the tagline of that book. I, I doubt it, no. Oh, come on. <clears throat> I've seen that. Have you guys ever seen videos of, like, wondering what high price stuff is like? You know, like, this is $5 sushi. This is $500 sushi. I saw one where it was these, these people that... Alex has yeah. watched some of those before. They're really interesting. Really, really interesting. Because yeah. it's like, are you truly getting what you pay for? Like, it's a really interesting uh, subset of videos, of YouTube videos to watch. Yeah. Um, it, I always like it when it's something that's, I guess, not really considered classy. Like, the, these guys were... Um, Wait. <clears throat> I th who was it? Was it ASAP Rocky, I think? Anyways, they were selling, like, high-class weed. Just but it was... Um, 
It was everything else. Like, this is rolled in a gold leaf. And I'm like, what is happening here? Yeah. It's... Nah, stuff like that I find really it's interesting. with lavender. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are high-class chicken nuggies? It's like ostrich rolled meat. Rolled in gold leaf. Oh, God. Enough of the gold leaf. It's all leaf. just rolled in gold leaf. That's it. That's oh. the secret. Frosty, yeah, you're making a killing yeah. right now. Get you some all gold these gold leaf. leaves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I end up getting the Halo cookbook. Nah, because it, a lot of the kind of food is just sort of like, it's normal food, but with a Halo name, which is kind of boring to me. With a Halo name? Yeah, the Master Chief Burger. Woo. It's just a normal burger, but it's got his name on it. It's just not as exciting to me. Whereas, like, World of Warcraft, it's the actual food from World of Warcraft. But let's be honest, it's just British food. Giant ostrich nuggies or something like that. You know, master led of chief and cheese. Yeah. <clears throat> like imagine Path of Exile nuggies. They're just nuggies, Shrine but you just you know, call them Path of Exile nuggies. Well, that's fun. Project Farm. The dude does all sorts of product tests to compare different brands and tools. It's super interesting. That's interesting. Yes. Relentless assault. <laughs> I loathe when a cookbook says this is an ingredient everyone has in their kitchen, and I go to my local store to find it, only to see it's extremely hard to find. Yeah, like what? Right? Whose who's cookbook you got there, Giada's? Like, oh, yeah, everybody's got this Mediterranean lemons, don't you? <laughs> Be torn to shreds. Blue cheese Corona. Uh, my favorite is when they say this super highly specific thing, but then they're like, store-bought's fine. <laughs> Like yes, if you can if you can afford like actual authentic Japanese dried seaweed. Vengeance is go for it. If not, then you can just pretend. Just pretend. You don't even have to buy it, just pretend it's there. There's an ad going around like there's an Australian ad and it's 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 just an ad for stock, like cooking stock. Um I'm pretty sure. No, it's not an ad for cooking stock, but I quite like what it does. Um because it's like this woman watching a video and it's like the key to making the best thing is make your own stock and then he's like she's like get real like i don't have time for that and so it's then her like you know it's like the best dinner is the one that you can just serve your family well and quick mm -hmm. and, and it's 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 something that kind of goes Death along those lines and i i really simple. like that but i just i distinctly hear the man in my head go make your own stock and i'm like hmm I believe in it. I'm very much in that way too. Like, yes, we can make our own stock, and sometimes we do, but other times you don't want to but do with all that. Other times, maybe you don't want to, and that's okay. Yeah, like I'll eat some garlic. I don't mind. The safe choice. Yeah, minced garlic in the jar. I don't want to. That's all we buy, cause yeah, I don't want to feel like mincing it. No. No. And I want Nick to do a cold take episode in the style of reading a recipe. Why would Nick do it? What? Just he doesn't do cold take or room. cook. You also get some fun history lessons. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Y'all don't keep Himalayan pink salt in your kitchen. Mm. I do. I we do too, actually. <laughs> I'm sure mine's fake though. <laughs> what Just you didn't cold. hand, like hand carve it from the actual Himalayas? No. Come on, store Frost. Bought. Come on. No. Get your own Himalayan pink salt, please. We have to become a monk first before they let you into those mines. Or children. It's the children. Oh, yeah. The children can yearn for the mines, not you. I crushed up a salt lamp. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I Imagine. found a salt lamp. GG's. It's like, mm, this Wait. tastes a bit funny. Like, did you put salt on it? Yeah, from the salt lamp. The what? Just you know, stirred it with my salt lamp. <laughs> mm, it tastes uh, vague. Never had something so ambiguous. <laughs> oh, what a strange time. Imagine. Oh God, this is all... If you don't happen to have genuine Japanese seaweed sheets, toilet paper is fine as well. Yeah, yeah. in the spirit of Bear Grylls, isn't it? 
He always says, like, if you can't catch the rabbit after he's failed miserably, it's okay because tree roots are full of protein and vitamins. I'm and like, you're okay. like, oh, so you know, dirt. You tell me how rocks are good with fiber. <laughs> I can just eat my own hair. Filled with uh, nutritious bugs and protein. Mm -hmm. The salt lamp, salt tastes a bit light. Oh no. Oh no, that's a really good joke. Oh no, leave it. Don't, don't encourage. Don't encourage it. it. No, I'm it sorry. I liked it. I thought it was good. What is this then? Oh, is it? There's an air. Frost, your cold take about executives getting rich, making poor decisions. Help me write a five-page essay. I thank you. Don't worry. You were used as a source. My professor doesn't play games, though. How'd that go? I don't want to read it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to read your essay now. That's fun. Oh, yeah. fuck, not this mm. boss. I hate this boss. It's okay, Michael. I made everything up. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a kicker? <laughs> mm hmm. It's definitely real salt? No way. I never actually thought to test it. I'm glad you did. <laughs> Fucking hate this boss. Probably drank his own piss, so I don't know if I'd follow his advice. I'm sure he likes it too at this point. Oh no. So. Yeah, I is liked it too it. like Yeah, is is it too salty or does it taste like lamp? And that's the real problem. So I feel you can live with too much, like, it tastes too salty, but if someone, like, take this back to the chef, please, it tastes like lamp. Oh, I just knacked like myself. Uh, but sir, this tastes like lamp. Isn't that what you wanted? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you ever drank Prime? No, brother. They're getting sued for having too many forever chemicals in them. Forever Absolutely. chemicals? Yeah, PFOs and all that stuff. Not me, son. I see, as much as I like experimenting with taste and whatever, I don't know. There's something. Energy drinks? Nah, nah. Like the, the verdict is still out on those things, on what they do. I'm not going to be the guinea pig. Because... No one ever thinks this kind of stuff happens in their lifetime. That's what they thought with lead. That's what they thought was asbestos. I and mean, when you got these 70 year olds with that lead stare just living their life and saying that there's no such thing as ADHD. Meanwhile, <laughs> they have to play the music really loud or the voices kick in. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Right, no. I'm well, good. That's not going to be me. The five round challenge. Especially, like, come on, man. This is an energy drink marketed by influencers, and they're not even oh, cooking God. it. Slogan Paul and KSI. No. Absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, no, no, no. No, thank you. Yeah. We've got enough microplastics now to deal with this. <gasps> Woo! Don't explode me! Lead pipes are actually everywhere. It's sort of scary how many cities hide it. Yeah, I think they just accepted it at this point. But that's the thing with the prime energy drinks, is that they have one... One thing of prime energy it's an energy drink as i said has enough has more forever chemicals in it and you'll encounter from drinking water in your entire lifetime that's, like, that's, that's wild no wonder it's a little spicy Not again. image of tyson knocking logan out oh did the fight happen i didn't get to see I'm sorry, Exile. Ugh. I got distracted. I can't believe they managed to run away that much. He looks a little more. Oh, coral skies or skis. Skies. Thirty dollars. Thank you. I've been meaning. Thank Amy for inspiring me to run. I started after she talked about cardio on stream, only to find it painful. Turns out my shins are weak because my calves are too strong. So now I train my shins too. Thank you, Amy. Um, oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. It means a lot. I'm so. I'm a firm believer in you need to find what you enjoy. And yep. it's so 
it, it can be so tricky. So really proud of you for finding part of what that is for you. Mm. Yeah, good job so on finding the you. off balance too. That's 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 a big pain. Some people think being like unable or unwilling to do workouts is because you're just unfit. Maybe there's a part of you that's a little too strong. <laughs> Your whole body is just one big connected pulley. I should know. Frost is forever plastics and water too. Yes, but this one thing, one energy drink, has more forever plastics in it. you will consume it. in your lifetime. In, in your life of just drinking water. I'm not saying there's no forever chemicals. I'm saying there's a little too much in them. <laughs> if energy drinks will hurt us, pray for me. I've tried over 150 different flavors. Yo, if that's the life you want to live, have at it. I'm just not going first is all. That's, that's all I'm saying. Like, uh, what is it? Uh, shoot. The, the iPhone that was blowing up all the time? I was like, yeah, no. Nah. So uh, no, that this was model. on the Tab Notes or something like that. Galaxy yeah. Notes or something. Yeah, like, I'm not having it. Did someone do a study to find that? Yes, they did a study and now they're being sued for it. Just need a moment to catch my breath. Oh, I, saw, I thought that said, follow your bliss, let somebody else drink the bleach. Oh, no. <laughs> what about water supplements like the Gatorade packets? Yeah, like I'm, y'all, y'all can do what you want. This is not a very gatekeeper thing, nor is it a hill I care to die on. Yeah. Um, I'm just the guy that, because I used to take um like some supplements here and there for uh, like fish oil and stuff like that. But if you can get it through your food, I feel absolutely. Like that's just better overall, yeah. Are you talking about those like hydration packets? I've seen those. Yeah. Ugh! I just want to kill the boss. Okay. I remember Samsung was DMCAing every YouTube talking about it. Can't yeah, trust that one. Y'all do what's happy. What you know? Don't. I'm not gonna tell y'all no. I'm just saying I'm not me first. <laughs> That's coming from a guy who likes to try some really weird things. I drink tap water. I think it's making me stronger by trying to kill me faster. It hasn't succeeded, so my immunity continues to grow. <laughs> Then you're going to get an allergy, and that's just your body being too damn strong for itself. What? Yeah. Like, autoimmune diseases? Your body is too... Like, your immune system's too strong. Yeah. It's trying to kill you. Your body was like, this motherfucker, no. Yeah, this one. He's surrounded by this stuff. Kill it. Curious if anyone thinks the electrolyte supplements are a problem. I rather like them. No caffeine, just nutrients. It's not just nutrients. It's just salt. Oh, yeah. Lick that salt lamp we were talking about. Know that we must purify those who stand in the way of our crusade. Too cheap to get omega three naturally. Omega three naturally? It's just eggs. Just eggs? Yeah. If only you could see the bigger. Where's that fish? I forget which one. And avocados. Avocados are expensive. I'll give you that. That they are. Yeah. The thing is, you still, yeah, definitely try and get you some sunlight. Here's the thing, right? Get this man I hate, some sunlight. I, I hate nutrition, but we had to learn it. I hated how much nutri how many nutrients depended on, on other nutrients, and those depended on sunlight. And I'm like, hmm, this gaming lifestyle going to be the death of me. This gaming lifestyle, though. <laughs> really? I can't believe it. This time. This we did it. Stream. We did it. Apologies. I'll find something new again next week. But I'm not mad. I haven't gotten to play much PoE recently because I've been going really hard into my Hoyos. Um, so I'm I'm content to be here. I am content to be here. <laughs> so okay. thank you. That was Path of Exile instead of No Rest for the Wicked because it actually did rest on us. That was unfortunate. We tried Turns to turn it on. Turns out we were the we wicked. It's too early. <laughs> it was we. Oh, no. We what else we got going on? 
What else do we have going on? I don't know. What do we have going on? Well, today's Sunday. And I don't, I don't, I don't really know. We've got, you know, Cold Take tomorrow, Windbreakers podcast tomorrow. The usual stuff, as far as I can tell. The usuals. The usuals, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for coming and hanging out. Uh, nothing on my side. Guess we'll just catch you for some more fun and shenanigans next week. Easy stuff. Have a great week, everyone. Bye, all.